Hey guys, Sean here. And Melissa. Hey there, girl. Oh, and we're the Briar Home Buyers. <laughs> uh, today we're talking about the key disadvantages to selling to an investor. Yep, that's what we're talking about. And what was the second part? Uh, how to figure out if the investor you're talking to is a legit investor. Mm. Mm. So, the key disadvantage to working with an investor over a real estate agent is that real estate agents have to go through a certification program. So to get your real estate agent license, you have to go through uh, multiple hours of schooling. Some uh, states it's 90 hours, some it's 180. I don't know that because I'm not a real estate agent. I do know they have to go through schooling. Uh, they have to take an exam. They are regulated on their license. They have to pay a fee every year to get their license and keep it. And they also have to work underneath a broker who regulates their activities. Mm -hmm. uh, the disadvantage of working with uh, investors is anybody can call you up and tell you that they're an investor. Uh, yeah. All they have to do is just say, hey, I'm an investor, and technically, they can be one. Yeah. Are they it doesn't matter if they've done a deal or not. Yeah, how would you know? Yeah. You really don't. Uh, so. The real question is, if you're trying to work with an investor, how do you know if they're legit or not? Uh, the way we recommend figuring that out is asking them what their website address is or finding that out on their own. Sometimes it's on their mail piece that you get in the mail. Sometimes you find them online. Uh, go through their... see that? Yeah. <laughs> go through their website, uh, see how much value they have on there, so how much knowledge they're putting out, whether that's blog post or, uh, yeah, I would go through the blog post, uh, see how knowledgeable they seem, uh, because that's going to tell you. If they're writing stuff that's crappy or they're not writing at all, they probably don't have that much knowledge about it. Yeah. It's like a, one of those fads. Yeah. Yeah, they just, or maybe they just threw up a website that somebody sold them and they're not doing anything with it. Yeah, the last post was from 2014. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you want somebody who's knowledgeable and they're putting out valuable content, content that is gonna help you out. Uh, so the first way is to go through the website, make sure they're putting out valuable content uh, that makes them knowledgeable or seem knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. uh, the second way to verify is to call them up, call their office, call the number that's on their marketing pieces, and see if they're friendly or not, because a lot of them really aren't. Investors get a bad rep, and for good reason, because a lot of them aren't out to help the people that they are serving. Yeah. They're really not serving. No. So, <laughs> and they're just trying to flex that, oh, I know a lot about this area, yep. and they never let you talk. Mm. Mm. That's how you know. So call them up, see how friendly they are, ask them a lot of questions about their business, see how transparent they are with you. Uh, if they're honest people who are actually out there trying to help the community, they're gonna tell you how they operate and they're gonna be transparent and seem knowledgeable and seem trustworthy. Uh, so the two ways to verify is their website and call them and see how they act on the phone. Because if they're bad on the phone, and they're mean to you and short with you, and they don't listen to you, they just talk over you, yeah. it's gonna be even worse. In uh, person. Yeah, at the appointment that they sent or they set up. And they're never gonna listen to you. So yeah. make sure they're just good people. Uh, that's, uh, that's the ways we would say to verify. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going off script here. <laughs> that's the way to verify if you're working with a legit investor. Uh, that's all we have. Uh, go check out our website. Uh, if you want to ask any questions, uh, even if you're not going to sell to us and you just need tips and tricks and knowledge, uh, feel free to give us a call. We are here to help people. So, yeah, fill out a form and get in contact with us. Bye. Thanks, guys.